Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is my guide to the Filter Echo in BandLab. People often ask, what's the difference between a delay and an echo? And the simple answer is a reverb. An echo is a delay with a reverb added. On the track mixer screen, to the left of the track name, double tap on the track icon. Near the bottom of the track record screen, tap on effects. Tap on the plus icon on the none effects icon. Then at the top right of the effects screen, tap on the plus icon. At the top of the effects screen, tap on the delay tab. Then tap on filter echo. Below the words filter echo is the mix slider. The mix slider sets how loud the echo is. Drag in the green dot with your finger on the mix slider to the left reduces how loud the echo effect is. Dragging the green dot on the mix slider to the right increases how loud the echo effect is. Below the mix slider is the delay slider. The delay slider sets the timing of the echo. Moving the green dot on the delay slider to the left reduces the time between each echo. Moving the green dot on the delay slider to the right increases the time between each echo. Below the delay slider is the feedback slider. The feedback slider sets how long the echo is repeated. Moving the green dot on the feedback slider to the left reduces how long the echoes are repeated. Moving the green dot on the feedback slider to the right increases how long the echoes are repeated. Below the feedback slider is the cutoff slider. The cutoff slider is basically a low pass filter and sets the highest frequency of the echo. Moving the green dot on the cutoff slider to the left reduces the highest frequency of the echo. Moving the green dot on the cutoff slider to the right increases the highest frequency of the echo. Here are a couple of recommended settings for you. The first one is for using the echo as a reverb delay on your vocals. Set mix to about 20%. Delay to about 200 milliseconds. Feedback to about 20%. And the cutoff to about 900 hertz. The second one is to use the echo as a spot effect on your vocals, so maybe the last word in a line in your song. 
For this demo, I have used a tempo of 60 beats per minute, and 60 beats per minute means one note per second, which equates to one note is 1000 milliseconds. So to synchronize the delay to a 60 beats per minute song, I've set the delay to 1000 milliseconds. Set the mix to about 40%. Set the delay to about 1000 milliseconds. Set the feedback to about 60%. And set the cutoff to about 3600 hertz. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.